Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a slightly different type of flattening jig. This one is an adjustable flattening jig. And what the way this works is that by changing the positions of these uh, nuts, you can actually lengthen or shorten this bolt. That way you can really adjust the, uh, the thickness of your limbs so that you can kind of, you know, make fine tuning on your thickness or you can also, you know, basically the idea behind this is you can go from using half an inch to three quarter inch to one inch pipe without making a new flattening jig or figuring something else out. So what you're going to need for this is a three foot board. Now I'm using a two by four and I suggest that for this build use a two by four. Mine came in an eight foot length so I'm going to be using this as the base. You don't have to do anything. Once you've cut these two boards you don't have to do anything to this. Uh, so that rather than resting it on a floor or a flat surface, you're going to rest your heated pipe on this and then flatten with the shorter board. Now the shorter board, it doesn't have to be four feet in this case because if your bow limb is shorter, it'll hang over the edge of the longer board. Whereas uh, if you're using a thinner board, like the other flattening jig I show you, the four feet is so that the actual board will flex. You want it to flex and bend a little bit. This way, you can get the same angles without that flex. So that's that. So here's the bottom board. So for me, this is five feet long. You want it to be about as long as the longest bow you're going to make, just so you have full support. Again, here's the three foot board. And what you want to do on this board is you want to mark half an inch from the end and the side and we're going to be drilling our hole right on the inside of that. So, with that. You're going to need a 3 8 inch drill bit for drilling your holes. You're going to need two 3 8 inch bolts. These are three and a half inches long. You're going to need two 3 8 inch washers and two 3 8 inch nuts. You could either use uh, hex nuts or one hex nut and a wig nut. This will allow you to hand tighten you know, without the need for a wrench or anything. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drill the holes into this. Alright, so here's the end of the board. Basically you just want to drill right on the inside. You don't want to go too far in or this is going to become too small for one inch pipes. You want to get as close to that but you don't want to go beyond that mark. It's really simple. There it is. So you've got these two holes. You just want to make sure that the bolts will fit easily into the ends here. Okay, so once you've gotten the holes drilled, what you want to do is put it all together. So you want to take your hex nut and thread it onto the bolt. There you go. Put your first washer down. You want to put it through your board. Take your second washer. Place that there. And then you take the wing nut 
and tighten it up. There you go. So here's your spacer block. And what you can do is that if you're changing the type of pipe, you can lengthen it like this. So it's fully adjustable. All right, so I'm going to set the other side up and I'm just going to briefly show you kind of how it works. All right, adjusting this for different bows is fairly straightforward. So here you can see they're obviously not for this, uh, not for this pipe. What you want to do with this type of flattening jig is actually this should be the same height as your pipe because this is going near the center of the pipe and it'll all work out. So what you do is you loosen up the wing nuts at the bottom and just push these up and then what you do is you tighten up the wing nut and you just want to make sure that the end of the bolt lines up with your PVC pipe. Then you take the hex nut and you tighten it down. See that? You go ahead and you do the same to the other side. Tighten it up. So there you go. So now it's ready to go. So when you're ready to flatten, you just put your, well actually you do it the other way. This would go on top, but there you go. So now it's all set up and if you need to change the height, then you do the same thing. You know, so if you can see here, I've got one set up for a three quarter inch pipe and this is a one inch pipe. So here we go. And this particular jig is good up to one inch pipes. If you want it bigger, then you should start with a, a 2x6, so you have a little more space, and then you can work with even larger pipes. But this is about as large a pipe as you really need to work with, unless you're going for an 80 pound long go. This is pretty straightforward. When you're using this, you have your base flattening board here. So you would place your hot PVC pipe, you know, where you need it to be, line everything up, and then you take your flattening jig, place it down, and then press. And so with this type of jig setup, you can either put body weight on here, it takes about, uh, if your PVC pipe is properly heated, it should only take about 50 to 60 pounds of pressure to get it to flat. Otherwise, you might want to use clamps. So either uh, screw type clamps or compression type clamps. That way you can just clamp this together and just let it sit. So here it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.